AI uh, main hurdle, I think, to my mind at this stage, because this is, remember, this is the beginning of uh, an, uh, the AI era. So no one can really predict the use cases and the requirements. But what we can um, uh, all agree on is the AI stack, which require the, uh, the infrastructure, which is the uh, data centers, um, and uh, the chips, and then the middle layer, and then the uh, apps. But a lot of people didn't mention one thing, which is energy, how you can and, uh, put or consume energy. And the uh, energy consumption with uh, AI is going to really go up, uh, off the roof. Uh, we're expecting um, an increase of power consumption by 3 to 6 percent on an annual basis coming in from the use of uh, AI. I'll just give a small example. Chat GBT, uh, uh, learning process or training for one day uh, is the equivalent of 283,000 uh, Californian homes consumption per, uh, 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 per year. That's one day. So this tells you about the, the, the big challenge that the world will face, because that means you will have more emi uh, emissions if we're going to uh, continue on using fossil fuel, especially coal uh, and other things. Um, so we should look for solutions how to power AI revolution through renewable energy. And that's what we're working on. And I think uh, uh, Brazil is very well positioned to be one of the major players 